Hi, I am now in Senegal, in Safina Farm, and uh, we just finished here checking hundreds of fruits. Mm -hmm. But before I get to what we did, let me just say a few words what we did yesterday. And we started by going to another farm. Why? Because this farm is extremely well treated and we wanted to see how other farms are doing. Not far from here. And what we found that infestation is there. It is not hard to find even with very good farmer, but not as good as here. So this is one. Second, we found out with the Ministry of Agriculture that uh, we have here Bactocera dorsalis, which is the number one pest by far, followed by Ceratitis cosiera, and then Ceratitis capitata. So we have to deal with all three of them. We were expecting this, although we were told at the beginning that we have only Bactrocera dorsalis here. This is part of the surprises that we expect them. So this is the benchmark. Today it is the end of July. Usually by mid-July, here in Safina Farm, problem begins. This year, Maybe because there is less rain or no rain. Maybe because of the good treatment. Well, everything is well. Uh, but again, it's not only luck because we saw in other farms that problem is there. We know it. And this is not the only farm. So this is a lot of good work. In this farm, we were treating with biofeed 30 hectares in three treatments. One is 30 units per hectare, one 20 units per hectare, and one 10 units per hectare. As you can see, the fruit is ready to ship to Europe, to export. Export quality, absolutely great fruit. There was no interception from here this year, zero. All the checking that we've made, hundreds of fruits, no infested fruit was found. We found one infested fruit, which this fruit was not part of the sample. It was over mature and yeah, we found it infested. So that is to show that yes, flies are here. They are not absent, but control is good. Where we had the biofeed control, there was no spraying in this area, not any spraying for fruit flies, such as this place. And we can see it is still here, still on the tree. Um, the harvest will continue probably for at least two weeks until, until mid-August, which is exceptional in this area. Because of fruit flies, usually they finish the harvest much earlier. So this year we're going to continue and uh, maybe I will come back again to see how it is then. But already the conditions are very extreme at a very late period of the, of the year. The fruit is relatively very mature. So I'm really happy to share it with you. And I hope that more farmers in West Africa and other places can see that one, it is possible to have great orchard with very high yield. This is irrigated orchard, almost in the middle of the desert, but not really desert. Second, that the quality is so high that it can export to Europe and actually wherever he likes uh, the best quality. So these things are to learn and uh, I hope to be copied in other places. It is possible not only for the Israelis and the Spanish and the Portuguese and the Mexicans and uh, other countries to export mango. Africa and Senegal should do it much more. So great work 
also great stuff here to, to work with. And from Senegal, Safina Farm, bye bye to you all.